Hi, I'm Brad Trevnik. Some of my first computer programs were in BASIC on a Tektronix 4051 and its later versions, the 4052 and 4054. Even though it only had one color, it was high-tech graphics for the late 70s. Here's a picture of one that I got to use about a year ago. It was the first personal computer, or just about, with everything in one box. You can see the keyboard and the special function keys and the storage dis tube display and the slot at right for or, uh, tape drives to store programs or data. Since I don't own a 4051 myself, I wrote a simulator that runs in Windows. Let's take a look. The simulator has the green screen and a separate window for function keys. The PC keyboard acts as the 4051 keyboard. Since it's a storage to mistakes, you type aren't fully erased and the simulator imitates this. It's a three I typed over a letter. The tape drive is simulated by storing programs on the PC hard drive, but addressed by number in the same way as the, on the 4051. Let's load a simple graphics program and look at the program listing. This was text version of BASIC, much is similar to other versions of BASIC, but the graphics commands such as move and draw are particular to the 4051. To run it, we just type run. The simulator tries to imitate the way the graphics appear on the real 4051. Notice the initial bright color when a line is drawn and the relatively slow speed. If we move the cursor to the top of the screen with home and list it again, you can see that text overwrites the existing text and graphics. The only way to clear the screen is with the page command. Here's a version of a simple graphics program that almost everyone knew about back in the day. Yes, it really was this slow, and this is actually a slightly sped up version. I think the 4052 and 4054 were a bit faster. The hidden line removal in the program is done by keeping track of the highest points in, one, in a one-dimensional array. The 4051 could support two-dimensional arrays as well. Its good support for math functions and its state-of-the-art graphics made it useful for a wide variety of technical fields in the late 70s and into the 80s. While this is running, let's take a look at the special keys. These here are for editing lines of your program. There was no mouse and you could only edit the current line you were working on, not jump around the screen like you can now. The user definable keys started your program at particular lines in the code to allow for special functions to be run at different times. And there's the break key that would stop your program when it's running, but let's let it finish and see the nice drawing. You can see how in certain lines it has to draw less because part of it is hidden and that speeds it up because it's actually the drawing that's pretty slow. This program is longer so when we list it it fills the screen. The flashing F at the top left shows the user that they must press the page key, or in our case the simulated page key, to clear the screen so the output can continue. Let's see one last graphic program, a simulator of a harmonograph. Let's try this again here.
A real harmonograph has two pendulums. One holds a piece of paper and the other a pen attached to a hinged arm. Set them in motion and you get a drawing like this. For printing, Tech sold the 46, 4631 hard copy unit. This printed black on white shiny paper that was light sensitive. The copy key here simulates this by sending a printout to your PC printer. I'm happy to share the simulator with people that want to help test it out or who use the 4051 and are nostalgic for it. You can contact me through my work website at aureliandesign.com. Thanks for watching. Let's have the 4051 say goodbye. Let's turn up the volume so you can hear it.